guys, no treatment of dirty boxing and close range fighting would be complete without some mention of cloth grabs. Now, the minute you grab somebody's cloth, you grab somebody by the collar, by their t-shirt, by their jacket, the first thing we can do is obviously strike. But we can strike not only with the far hand, which they see coming in, but also with the close grabbing hand for short uppercuts. So very often I'll look to see how I can slap through or destroy their perimeter, knock down their fencing hand, knock down their shields to acquire a grip. Any normal grip that you would get, whether it's a body lock, an underhook and pike, or a nape grab, can be augmented by grabbing the cloth. And that gives you first and foremost that immediate short range jab or uppercut with the gripping hand. I can also wrench the t-shirt wrench the shirt or the jacket, jamming the length into the trachea, snapping it into the nape of the neck, and then return with a short shot. I can fold the arm hitting with the close elbow. So using the close arm is obvious, uh, is a little less obvious, but, but much more subtle, much more destructive, much more likely to ambush and surprise the person. As I pull them down with the shirt, I can also put my forearm across the back of the neck. We call this clubbing the neck. I can change arms using my free arm, coming over to grab the shirt and pull it over the head, which gives you great control. And that's one real main reason why we train the Georgian grip in grappling, going for the belt, because that can replicate grabbing the shirt in a street fight. Of course, living in Montreal, hockey fights are a regular part of our culture. Pulling a shirt or a jacket over the head is just a fantastic way to completely turn the odds and to get control. While maintaining neck control with a shirt grab, I can also easily transmute it into a crank or a choke, or if I can quote John Cavanaugh, a mix of both, a chank, and I can get that person twisting and in pain, writhing and, and really unbalanced. So any sort of close range cloth grab gives us a ton of opportunities for control. And when we grapple with something like a, a martial arts gi, this allows us to replicate that work and to really see how we can better steer somebody with the cloth. If we don't want to tear shirts or we don't have that at easy disposal, a really good facsimile is to simply take a short length of rope, in this case I'm using a martial arts belt that's been cut short, and to wrap it once or twice around a person's wrist. I can practice hitting not only with the far side, which is obvious, but again with the close side to really develop the power for those short range jabs. And if I double it up in this case, I get even closer, getting those really short, um, you know, sort of ambush shots into the face, into the neck, into the throat. It's a really dirty, an overwhelming shot.